Once again, we've been talking about the martyrs this week, and I'm going to share with you today the story of probably Jay's favorite martyrs, and they are Philip and Nathaniel. Now, in the Bible, you can read in John chapter 1, verses 43 to 46, about what happens when Philip meets Jesus. And Philip knows that this is the Messiah. So he runs off to Nathaniel and says, Nathaniel, you're not going to believe this, but I've met the Messiah. He is from Nazareth. Nathaniel looks at him and says, Psh, Nazareth, nothing can come good out of there. He's completely sarcastic about it. And yet when he meets Jesus, he knows because Jesus calls him by name. So through their life, these two men went out to preach. In fact, they preach in what is now modern day Iraq and modern day Iran. They said, you know what? We're tired of these two guys. We want to get rid of them. We're tired of this whole christian e stuff. We're tired of everything we hear about Christ and following Christ. So they hang him on a cross and Philip dies. And yet, after three days, Nathaniel is still not dead. So they pull him off the cross and they tell him, quit talking about Jesus. And so you know what Nathaniel does? He goes out and he talks more about Jesus. So Nathaniel now, it's time to kill him for a second time. And they take him and put him on a cross upside down. And so they decide to skin him alive. And you know what happened? He survived. I know it doesn't seem like it could possibly happen, but notice with these two, something that you and I both need to stay strong in our faith, even to the very end. We need someone alongside of us. Sometimes that person might be sarcastic a little bit. We need someone who's going to stand up for their faith at all times. Do you have that person in your life? Do you have that person will step up for their faith and keep you strong as well? If you don't, get him or get her because you need him in your everyday walk. And we'll see you tomorrow.